Well, I'm starting off today, it's, it's nearly uh, nearly quarter to six. I've been messing and fiddling about all day. It takes me all day just to think about what I'm going to do. But our Wendy was here the other day, the Sunday she came, and she said she wanted a book on um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, because it's Alice in Wonderland, because it's a classic by uh, Lewis Carroll. And uh, I said I might do it. But I'm getting on with it anyway. I've just done um, three signatures. Lights changing because it's getting quite dark in here now. Uh, I've done three signatures. And I've got one down there, which I'm doing. Two down there. And the other books are... Um, I haven't even finished them yet. Oh, the Chaldees. It's uh, volume one, the Chaldea. Uh, of the <coughs> and the history one which I, I quite like and that's Macaulay's History of England which I've finished 672 pages I haven't even put it together yet um, and I had specific things I was going to do for me my book of runes and I did uh, I did copy uh, some bits and pieces onto a piece of photographic paper but anyway I've, um, I've finished the book now and I've got it under a press and uh, it's been under there for a couple of hours but it's still still a little bit wet and then um, I've got some of my books resting on it well quite a few of my books by the looks of it but uh, I'll have a look at it and then <clears throat> put it to one side I was very very pleased with the way it started to come out and then once I'd done it I seen there's a few mistakes on it which I'm not going to tell you what they are because uh, I'm a bit uh, thingy but it was something new that I tried and uh, I've done what I said I was going to do. I've put that, that same photographic paper on there. I don't know whether to put some clear clear view on it or whatever. And I don't know whether to put gold lettering on this or not. But uh, it went to... It went to ca together quite nicely. But anyway, I'm not going to go on about that. Um, it looks okay on, on the film. And uh, I haven't done any special things with the inside papers. I keep saying I will, but I did it in black. And uh, I put an introduction to start off for the runes. Um, I don't know why I did this because I've got no, no no interest in runes at all, really. But I think I did it for Dave, and I don't think Dave wanted. I don't think he wanted it, or he had things already that he. And this this is wasn't what he wanted anyway. I, I don't know, but uh, uh, there's an introduction to it, and the Nazism part of it, and there's bits of interest in things like that. And the fonts it tells you about the fonts that they use, and uh, uh, it tells you about how many different types of runes there are. There's loads of different types of runes. There's 24 runes, and there's it's different countries that use it. The man, I can't even say that. The Markamanic runes, eighth to the ninth, whatever they are, and it tells you what they mean. It's got a, a good little bit of the, the younger fuss rock. <laughs> it's, it's all my, the medieval runes, and uh, I think I did it because it was in line with the book. Uh, the book cover that I wanted, I wanted something that went in vogue with the book, which was sort of uh, mysterious. And I sent all my Arthurian ones off to um, off to Ted because I know he likes them. And uh, yeah, the Viking runes. These are the Viking runes. Uh, read from right to left, so you read it from that way, sort of. And it tells you what they are. And you can you can, you can do predictions on it. Um, it's not supposed to be evil or anything like that. It's just a. Uh, I don't think it predicts the future, it just predicts answers to questions that you've got, immediate questions that you've got. It's always the same, you can't open the bloody page when you want them. I did a couple of pages in case, um, but it tells you what they are anyway, it says with the self and uh, what's what and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> and I was going to put, I was going to put in, I keep forgetting to do these things, I was going to put in a couple of glossy pages a photographic paper and then slip it in but I don't know what the photographic paper would do 
within one of these books, whether it's curl up or whatever, or it needs a glassine in. And glassine's a cover for photographic papers. But uh, anyway, this is a full book, and uh, you can do a read off on it or whatever you want to do. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's interested in anything like this. Um, a little bit about the author and so on. But uh, the book came out quite well. I'm gonna. I might try a little bit of um, gold lettering on it. A little bit of gold lettering and possibly I don't know. I might do. I should have really done the back when I did the front. But it does take. Uh, it is a labour of love when you do these. You've got to cut it. You've got to cut the board out and. Uh, it's a little bit messy. It's like a dust, dust it's like a dust ball in here when you start cutting. And I, uh, I have uh, cut my thing, my, my thumb, <laughs> and a few other bits of me, me anatomy. <laughs> so uh, anyway, Wendy seems to like these little books with them little little gadgets on the side. I'm getting a bit fed up of doing them. I want to do something different. That's why this one probably interested me because it's got. Um, it's got it's got a little cut out in the front, but uh, once you've done it once, I suppose you get a bit fed up of everything. Um, I'll try gold lettering on it. I usually nudge things up with gold lettering, as uh, you can remember from me my other book there with the gold lettering on. <laughs> Ooh, what a shite! <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to do uh, a proper one for book binding. and I'll do it down to about ten minutes. I know you can't teach anybody book binding in ten minutes. It takes ten minutes to do one subject. It's such a, it's such a, um, a collective subject. It's 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 sewing and paper and um, card and board and printing and writing and oh, collecting, and collating and coloured ends and bits and pieces you need to do. What things you'd never you'd never think you needed, you do. Anyway, I shall stop there and. Uh, it's not bad. It's square anyway. I mean, the book is the book is square, and it's a brown. I've done it in brown, brown bookram. Um, it's not brown. It's brown rexine actually. It's a type of bookram, but uh, they don't call it bookram. It is rexine. It's the old type of cover that they used to have in. Um, they used to do chairs in the forties with it. Everything was made of rexine. If it was leather, it was pseudo leather, and it was made of rexine. So. Um, the little pious surrounds you had where, where you had the corner units with the, your little polishing brushes and things in for the fender and the, the tools for poking the fire and all that and it had a little seat on it and that seat had a Rexine cover on they were usually brown and uh, with a leather with a, a cloth base on the bottom quite plasticky stuff but uh, the Indians still make it and uh, I get a lot of my stuff from the Indians because it's quite cheap um, I'm getting a bit fed up of these Chinese so anyway, I'll uh, it wasn't bad. It isn't finished properly yet. It's not dry, obviously, but um, it's my book of runes anyway. And I, I haven't got much interest in runes, but it goes with the book. I wanted something where you open the book and it was something like what was you was expecting from the external outside of the cover. So anyway, I'll stop there. <laughs>